All right, folks, another inside the lesson for you. I'm working with Yusuf today on his backhand. Now, this is going to be a three part video, maybe four parts. So, uh, if you like this one and you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the thumbs up so you can stay tuned. Uh, starting with some hand feeds here, and then as we uh, progress, we'll be switching up the drills and doing some racket feeds, as well as some uh, live ball cross courts. Hope you like it. Show me your contact point. So as I'm discussing here, one of the big things with Yusuf is uh, actually contacting the ball too far in front of him. And what I'm showing him here is that if you're hitting it too far in front, especially on that backhand side, you're not actually able to extend the racket after you hit the ball. So I'm trying to get him to hit it a little closer to his hip so that he can extend that racket afterwards. Okay, yeah. gonna recover every time. Okay, hit the ball and then recover back in the middle. Yeah, we'll just start on the middle. Okay, and you're gonna move back there every time. All right, so as you see here, better. he's moving back to the middle after I just told him. Yep. But he's actually not really giving a crossover step. He's taking a lot of steps, putting in the effort, but it's not very efficient. So uh, I'm gonna be telling him that coming up in just a second right about now all right so yeah i want him to do a crossover step that first step after he hits the ball right there is a crossover and then one side shuffle and that's about all you need to get back to the middle even if you're pulled all the way into the doubles alley all those little tiny steps he's taking are just inefficient And as you can see, he's doing that right away, so he knows how to do this. He was just more concentrated on the actual uh, backhand technique, so he kind of forgot about it. Better, much better. Much cleaner. Easier when it's a hand thread, you know? You almost look like you're trying to be a statue or something. You're very upright, which is good. You want to be balanced with what it is the, the uh, tips come through and arms come through. Right? If you're doing this, you do this a lot when you're hitting, pulling up the torso and that pulls the racket through, you know? There you go. There you go. Same thing with our recovery. Big cross over. Alright, so this is going to be the last round for this uh, video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe so you can stay tuned for parts 2, 3, and possibly 4, depending on how much editing I do. I hope this helped you out. Yeah, much better.